Hello guys, I'm Grau Scheller and in this video I'll be showing you guys how the pre-release even works for the One Piece card game. In this case, I went to the Paramount War event and I'll be showing you guys a video opening some of the packs of the event and also just for participating you can get this really cool smoker promo card. I don't know if there's still some events out there in your cities or whatever, try to participate in them, it's really worth it, it's a cool experience and I will be saying all of the rules in this video, I'll be showing you guys tips on how to build your decks for the presentation, so without any delay I will put one of the videos because there's gonna be two, I went to two presentations and then I'll be showing you guys the rules while I explain them on the video because I obviously couldn't record in the uh, in the shops there was too much chaos going on so I'm gonna do a voiceover and explain it to you guys so let's go okay so as you guys can see we opened six boosters and we have to do a 40 deck with all of these cards and then we have some rules that we have to follow and they are as follow here the first one would be that you can bring your own leader from dot from that set or below that mean that means that for example for op2 in this case if you get any leader opening the boosters like i don't know white bear the smoker or whatever you can use that but you can also bring one from other sets that are below that one for example you can bring some leaders like kid and Zoro from op1 you can get like yeah leaders that you can pull on op1 and from the constructed decks that have been released up to that date so in this uh, scenario in this presentation in particular kid and Zoro were the best leaders to play with and then the next rule would be that you need to build a 40 card deck with cards from these boosters you can only use cards from here like you cannot bring, bring any cards from outside they probably record uh, i don't know some stores change that but they usually record the cards that you pull so that you cannot cheat and the cards that you don't use you have to actually keep them in a in a place that can be seen or like in a back box or something but it has to be visible so that you don't mix those cards with cards from outside so you can only use cards that you get in these boosters and as you are seeing in this video already like this first presentation was kind of bad <laughs> and i have like no hits at all which is it, it kind of sucks like quite a, quite a bit also you need 10 don cards and you can bring those or you are gonna have at least six uh, the stores might lend you some but if you bring them to these events, it's for the better. And then the last rule would be that you can mix card colors. That's the most important thing, because you don't need to follow the rule of using the same color as your leader. You can mix them, which is amazing because you can, you can make a deck with anything, with any kind of card. It's just that the cards that have specific things like, like rule of you can only play this if your leader is this or is this kind like keywords and stuff you have to respect those because you cannot get past those okay this is this is the first pull that i got from this presentation you still need those cards those rules to play those cards but you can mix colors like you have you can have Zoro leader for example it's a red leader and then play black cards mixed with green mixed with blue so this is my strategy to how to build the deck like there's probably best strategies out there but i think that following this pattern is for the best it's just up to interpretation but i would start with taking all the plus 2000 power counter cards like all of those put those on your deck because you're gonna need as many as you have like that's the best cards that you can put in the deck Oh yeah, I pulled the uh, Kusan Super Rare here, nice. Then I would take all the blockers, like blockers of low cost, mid cost, high, co high cost, 
all the blockers just put all the blockers that you pull in the deck because you're not gonna pull that many don't think that you're gonna get so many blockers like you are probably having i don't know from five to seven maybe blockers like there's not that many in six boosters and then take the counter cards that you need that's the best pull that i have pulled in both presentations luffy the blue luffy alternative artwork this is such a sick looking card it's probably one of my favorites from this collection it's really really dope which are the counter cards all the uh, event cards i mean so any card that gives you any kind of power to resist attacks or to control the the table like yeah, the cards that i don't know kill stuff or return cards to the owner's hands all of those cards take all that you need and that's another hit Ivankov super rare so this second presentation was obviously really really better than the than the first one the perfect situation would be to have like three to four cards that give counter power to resist and defend and a few cards like two or three that do other things like returning cards to the owner hands or killing cards like something like that like between four to seven even cards maybe then take all the big hits like every super rare or secret or anything that you pull put it in your deck it's gonna do a huge thing like it's gonna help you a lot trust me like it's super necessary and then incorporate low middle and high cost characters evenly if they combo with each other then the better like try to have low cost characters from one to three uh, mid cost characters from four to six and high cost characters from seven onwards like mixed up so that you can have more plays each turn and not having like a lot of high cost characters or far too many low cost characters the only exception here would be if you play solo because low cost characters are also good for that deck so it doesn't matter that much but try to keep the cost evenly and then fill until you have the 40 cards with anything that has at least combo on the side of plus a thousand at the very least vanilla cards whatever like whatever cards that you take to complete the 40 at least that had combo that's gonna be useful always all right guys that was everything for this video if you like the content subscribe to the channel give a like to this video and i'll be seeing you guys next video